You're going to sing it in garlic. You're going to sing it in garlic, Psalm 102. Yes. And this is a psalm that was part of your story, wasn't it? Yes. Uh-huh. When I, when I had peace with God, uh-huh. it was through that verse. Through this one verse. We're yes. going to sing one verse. Yes. And it was through this verse that you... Yes. you the, 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 I needed a saviour. Uh-huh. I was trying to deal with having peace with God without a saviour. Uh-huh. Doing good and... Yeah. Trying to show everybody I was a chaos. I wasn't. <laughs> you weren't. You well, we'll mean. come to that. We'll come to that. So we're going to start off then. Psalm 102, just one verse. So please to. I'm not able to sing now, but uh, I'll try. Now the hocus see on suas like you, hush for the rain of all. Speaking at the assembly. Oh, yes. Just don't tell her what you've done. Tony Jack. Chat him. Yeah, yeah. He was, he was older. He was, he was older, older than me. Yeah, yeah. Well, for those of you who maybe don't know who you are, I'm sure we all do, but do you want to tell us just a wee bit about where you grew up and your young years growing up here in South Locks? Were they happy years, Mordo? Well, they're happy for us, but for our parents, it was a, a, a struggle. Uh-huh. A struggle, being a big family then. Big fa- How many brothers and sisters did you have? Well, there was nine of us all together. Nine? Yes. One died at infancy. Well, nine years. Uh-huh. My eldest brother. And he went into eternity singing uh, The Lord's My Shepherd. I know. And, uh, and uh, another thing about that verse, a nurse that was attending him, she was converted through that singing. Right. And the boy lay dying. How old was he, Mordo? Nine years. Nine years old. And they heard him singing that psalm, right. and one of the nurses, I was told, was converted. Through that? Uh huh. In the old sanatorium out. With the county hospital. Like, uh, yeah. So there's just yourself and Dolina living, is that right? That's all right, that's left now. Uh-huh. There's two of two of my brothers who are elders here. Uh-huh. Two, um, were they older than you Mordo, or younger? Older. They were older. older. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So you grew up in Maravik? Oh, yes, I was uh, in the Franciscan school I qualified as a dance there. <laughs> I've got to excuse my, my English. 
in order to all. Uh, uh, you, uh, you stayed there till how old were you when you left Clarence School? Just longing for 14, so I was guest to see. So at 14? 14, 14 uh -huh. in November, and I was, I was, I was at sea in, in December. Is that right? At 14 years of age? Right. Look at that. Uh, well, yeah. somebody died and I was recruited uh -huh. to go take his place. That was the reason. And that was, that was you? Yes, and we were brought up to attend minutes of grace. Uh -huh. uh, not, not in the mornings, because... Well, some of us were walking here. To the church in Gravel? Yes. Is that right? Yes. And uh, I just remember that. I did it once or twice myself. How would that have taken a, a good while? Oh, well, less than an hour. Less than an hour? Yes. Over the hills? But uh, it would take about three hours if, if the minister was sit, preaching for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Another hour would go home and be very hungry. You'd be very hungry, absolutely. <laughs> But you told me that you would have a bike as well. Yes, but I had to walk with a bike. We, 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 we spoke about the sermon, uh -huh. exchanged what the minister said, and uh -huh. things like that. And it didn't feel the time long. Didn't feel the time so I didn't long. want to leave the company at all. Amazing. The bicycle was alongside her. So when you were a young boy growing up, did you have a desire for the things of the Lord? Or was it, did that well, come later on? You spoke today yourself about Christ uh -huh. preaching at 12 years. Uh -huh. And I don't know if it was a death in the village or in the villages. The first thing I was asking, where did he go to? Right. Was he saved or was he lost? Right. And um, sometimes I, there was a lock outside our house, my, my mother's house then, and... Uh, I used to pick up three stones. I don't know what made me do that. I would throw a bottle out, and if I broke it with one of these stones, pay hope and charity. Aye. I was saved that day. I was working on that for quite a while. So you were putting a fleece out, just like Gideon. Huh? You were like Gideon, putting a fleece out. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's, well, leaving that, you now I went to started fishing and I became a very bad boy doing everything the other boys were doing and mm -hmm. not, not too heavy on drink at all but uh, roaming about uh, there used to be dances and concerts and things like that sketches and if anybody heard about Kadokhane when we had in Krabi here Oh, I've heard, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so we, there was a committee, and I was a, one, one, one of the committees, and we had to get somebody to play the accordion, somebody to, uh, a, a, some, a piper, mm -hmm. a piper, and the ladies who wanted to dance there. Yeah. Did you play the accordion yourself? Yes. Aye. That's when that's what I was convicted of my sins. Aye. Playing the accordion, and it came like... I kept that, bullet. Is that right? I went into darkness. Aye. And I could still hear the, the, the dancing going on. And, uh, is that in Maravik itself? In Cromor. In Cromor. Mm -hmm, in the schoolhouse. Aye. And I was convicted that I was the means of taking these ladies and gentlemen on the long road. That was part of my connection. Right. I was the, the leader. Aye. And I was going to suffer. Aye. Suffer for that. Yeah. But, uh, what year, tell us what year that Well, you told me earlier, but what year was this? 1947. 1947. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're uh, talking about the Queen's reign today. Uh -huh. You've been following the Lord longer even than the Queen was reigning. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Uh, as, uh, uh, I was going to start now. Uh, so you were at the Tenerife 1947? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were <work> <laughs> <laughs> 
just a young lad. And, and trying to sing it. In the 20s. In the 20s. Yeah. But when I came from the East Dances on concert, and I couldn't sleep at all with the burden that I was knitting people as three. And I was convicted there and then, but that passed by. The following night, I might be on the road again. There was four chances. Is that right? Yes. But I had to play the accordion. And finally, I was at a wedding dance in Cromwell. And that's where I was really so I used to hold in my internet. What's that? Translation. So I used to hold. Enlightenment. 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 Ah. And the knowledge of uh, Christ. Things became clear to you. Well, yes, that I was lost. Uh -huh. But uh, I started then trying to have peace with God by doing good. Ah. Praying. Uh -huh. Going into holes in the, on the moor, into boats, into sheds, and everything. I couldn't understand why Christ was coming into the business at all. It was it just God you were saying? God. Uh -huh. Trying to please God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I was telling God, well, I'm doing everything you told me, uh -huh. the Bible tells me, yeah. and I'm still I haven't got peace. Peace. Anyway, after a nearly a year going through that, I, but I went to sermons and I went to a communion in Crossbus, I think. Uh -huh. We had a boat and we, we, we went over there for the service. From Maravik over to Crossbus, mm -hmm. uh huh? Right. Yes. And uh, there was nothing there for me. Right. So, nothing there for me. But uh, still I wanted to go to hear the gospel. Right. Something was anybody telling me, it's through the word of God you've got to have peace. Yeah. And, uh, one night I, I came home and I was just disgusted with myself and I was blaming God. I did everything that you asked me and still I haven't got this peace. Right. And, about four or five o'clock in the morning, a light shone in my in my heart. I saw I saw in the scripture that that's the way of salvation through the word. And what was worrying me, I hadn't a prayer, a proper prayer, like the likes of you and other elders and ministers. Why couldn't I pray like that? But. Once I got the knowledge of Christ, yeah. the prayer started flowing. <laughs> yeah. After that, praising God, flowing. praising God uh -huh. for all his longing for the day till daylight. I would tell the old ladies there that was trying to help me. Uh -huh. I, could, um, I was longing for the day to tell them, you didn't tell me half of what I've got now. Aye. I've got the... I've got Christ for my, for, as my saviour. Why didn't you, you tell me it was so easy as that? <laughs> Wonderful. Man, that was it. Um, and did you profess quite soon after that? Or did you uh, wait a while? Uh, <coughs> a year and a week. Uh -huh. A year and a week. <coughs> I was feeling so alive and so active and I wanted to do something for the, for the Lord. And I couldn't sing. You couldn't sing? No, I right. could. Maybe I could sing Piaspartani or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't present or, or anything. And I think I put this on a recorder recently. Uh, where I looked fishing myself and Montani, and I wanted to. He, had, he could sing a, a tune, one or two tunes. And I picked up the tune, and my, my voice came back in some, I don't know, I never understood it. I, when we came ashore with fish, I went up to the back of the, my mother's house, 
and I started practicing what we had in the boat. And finally, I, could, I went to the Crossipus communion. There was, in the house, there was four or five old men, and none of them could sing. But they all prayed. And I sang the tune stone me four times <laughs> <laughs> in between the prayers. Ah, yeah. yes. mm -hmm. Very good. So that was my... And that was before you professed, was it, even? Uh, uh, I had professed that. Professed. Yes. Yeah. 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 yes, I had professed. I think I did one singing here in Graber. Uh -huh. And uh, going into Crosspost. We were coming ashore from a, from a boat. Mm -hmm. The minister and the presenter were going into the session house. Uh -huh. And uh, this fellow from Alibruch, he said, is that the young man that started in Graber? I think I heard he was presenting. He could present. Uh -huh. We'll wait for him. Aye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I heard him saying that. Oh, I said I was never presenting anywhere but once or twice. In, our own congregation. Oh, you come with me, my dear, and we'll be all right. Ah. I, was the, I was the Martin from Adibro. He was ah. an old presenter. Yeah, yeah. Well, I went in with them, and the second I went to the second singing, and I didn't look around the church at all mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> until I finished the first singing. When I looked up, it was just like Ibrox. <laughs> 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 It, every seat was occupied, upstairs and downstairs. Full up. Full up. And there was only one, two cars, I think, in the car park. A bus at the end of the road, <coughs> coming from the other part of the island. Good singing that night. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't feel it. The congregation lifted me up. I didn't feel any excitement or anything. No. No. The congregation carried me away straight away. Amazing. That was my first one. Yeah. I'm doing it since until my brothers here took over. Uh -huh. Moto Morrison. Yeah. And now they said, I think they were, they're about as good as me, but they're not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not good. The work in progress, eh? like all of us. <laughs> so well, you, well, you professed faith. In Graver Church here, and then you were on the road for a few years, and you became an elder. That's right. That's right. I was ten years. Well, it was the custom then. I, I think it was in, in all the congregations, you had to be a member for a while before you were, before you were officially. Uh -huh. Yes, I was. I was presenting. Uh, in between, but. Yeah. I think it was ten of us, five deacons and five elders, that right. same day. And who was the minister then? Old Murdo MacLeod. Murdo MacLeod? Uh-huh, from Palala. From Palala. Uh -huh. He was here 39 years. Right. Yes. Home and time. <laughs> That's what they called him. Uh-huh. Well, he had that every time he was pretty. Mata. Maha. Mata. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <clears throat> so that was how? That was, I, uh, I was in 1950. 57, was it? Right, my colour, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> and going back to communions, you were telling me before, we've got some headaches here, I don't call them scalp, but it's different places, isn't it? I'm getting looks. <laughs> <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> Well, don't be afraid. Nobody's too young to witness for Christ. Uh, Nobody's too young. Oh, no, that's true, you know. Yes. Yeah. I regret the, the years I spent dancing. And, well, not dancing. I never danced in a preparing <laughs> and making a fool of myself. With it. But, uh, never too young to serve the Lord. No, never too young. No. But tell us about going to Scalpe Communions on the boat. You had wonderful times there, didn't you? Oh, wonderful times. Yes. What day would you go over on? Is it the Thursday? Oh, yes. Well, the Thursday evening or Friday morning, anyway. Mm -hmm. And they waited for the... 
we, 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 a bus was leaving Glimmer away here Aye. and picking up in the Crabber and uh-huh. the villages. I saw, <coughs> I saw 15 or 16 of us going to Scarpe. Right. A boat was waiting there. Uh-huh. Yes. <coughs> Mm-hmm. You'd be singing but, on the way over. Yes, but the singing on Monday, I think I put that on a tape recently. Uh, you had to wait for the tide. There was no pier in Scarpe then, just a, a mamaric as we call it. A, you could get alongside when the tide was halfway up. But uh, somebody was... Somebody was holding the boat and holding the hands of a pas- the passenger. And uh, the singing was started, singing started then ashore. And we, with the boat, we started singing. Well, the two singings parting, it would break anybody's heart. Uh, the, the, the beautiful singing. Mm-hmm. Look at that. But, uh, uh, well, it was a laugh for me anyway. It's a bit of a joke. An old man was standing beside the boat. He had a big black beard on, and uh, he was helping everybody going aboard the boat, women and men and everything. And everybody, every, every woman had to give him a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and one of, one of the back, back ladies, she was having, have I got to go through that? She said. <laughs> See that bad. Yeah, was, was, he was in his element. <laughs> he was doing. Yes. <clears throat> Happy days. Happy days. And um, I remember Kenneth McCray, who was minister in Purely. There were two brothers, Kenneth McCray and with the other McCray. And when we, when we, when we boarded the bus at Tarbert, he stood in the door and he said, keep a good hold of what you've got. We had it, but we lost it. Aye. That's what he said. Yes, keep a hold of what you've got. Yeah. The singing, praising God for everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a, another, another thing I just remember just now. Who was in that place but the, the late Reverend John MacDonald. He was here only for 15 months, he died. He was here? He was here. Tell us a bit about him. What happened He there? was in North Bear, uh-huh. and we called when, when Josh McLeod left. Uh-huh. No, yes, when Josh McLeod left, uh, we called John from North Bear. Yeah. He was only 15 months here, he collapsed down in the creep. Just down here, mm-hmm. he passed away. Passed away. He was a young man, was he? Fifty-two, I Fifty-two. Think. What a preacher. Is that right? Oh, what a preacher. I think I was going through members years ago, years and years ago, and I think it was well over 20, when I admitted to the Lord's table. Wow. And everyone said it was through John McCarthy's <coughs> preaching. Yes, they were con- Yes, that's the God, peace with God. Yeah. <coughs> mm-hmm. After he died, there was a bit of a revival, wasn't there? Well... Amongst the people. There was a revival, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, that's another thing that was happening when I was young, especially, especially with singing, not with ministers preaching at all, but if there was a good presenter. <laughs> 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 there was one in Ireland, uh-huh. every time... <laughs> Every time I started presenting, she would fall back like in a fit. Aye, It happened to me in Perla too. Uh, a minister's wife there. I was, stand, I was standing, in, it was a black house in Perla. Uh-huh. And I was standing there with a the Bible. And the next thing, this lady fell beside me. And, oh, I was going to stop. And, and all but I carry on, don't don't worry, carry on. <laughs> Let us sit down for a few weeks. And that was happening. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What was a name for that? What did they call that? Uh, two, uh, Somebody say. 
I can't, I can't remember that. Ah, that's a garlic. No. That's a twistum. I can't remember that. But it was happening. You were falling at your feet. Oh. <laughs> well, it was a, 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 a revival in point just around about that time. Do you remember that? Yes. 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 And would you go over to Point during that time? Well, I should come in. Uh huh. Willie Campbell, that one Willie Campbell was there. He was minister here, but it was during that revival that he was converted in Point. Uh -huh. His father was a minister in Point. Aye. William, William Campbell. He was a minister here. So tell the people what number of minister am I to you? <laughs> I don't mean how good I am. <laughs> <laughs> How many ministers have you been under? <coughs> uh, nine ministers. Nine? Nine. Was nine ministers. So I'm your ninth minister. You've seen a lot in that time. Oh, yes. And a lot of people. Is there anyone here that was here when you started following? Uh, Is there anyone still here? Huh? Is there anyone here that was here when you started following? No. No? Rotigan. Mm -hmm. Aye, he would have grown up in the congregation. Yeah. So a lot of people have gone home to glory since then. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, I've seen five, uh, five uh, lots of elders and deacons. Five lots of elders and deacons. And there's none of them, but the, uh, the three brethren here just now. Yeah. That's all. Mm -hmm. two of my brothers were elder. Uh -huh. Yes. It was two or four in Kerry Ward and quite a number in Craver. I remember the first communion we had, the oldest member, the oldest elder, they said, we're going to sit and let the young elder serve the table. Uh -huh. There was two tables then. Two tables? Two because tables. of all the people? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, they, you could accommodate everybody, uh -huh. but that was a custom in a few places. Yeah. When old Mr. MacLeod left, Mr. MacLeod came along, he was our intern moderator, and we changed that to one table. The, the, the middle flat was under the, under the table. Oh, right. yes. and that was another difficult thing the, the presenters had. Well, well uh, the out outgoing members were going out and having a seat in the, in the side. The other crowd came in and the presenters had to carry on singing all the time. Right, well, the two tables mm -hmm. swapped over. Swapped over. Aye. Yes. That was a good few verses. Well, a good few verses. You were out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> You've seen a lot of changes in people coming and going and ministers coming and going, but the Lord has stayed the same. Oh, the Lord has stayed the same. Do you, do you tell us about how he's helped you through all these years? Is he still as close to you now as he was in 1947? In some ways he is. In some ways he uh -huh. is. Mm -hmm. In some ways, <coughs> I notice it in very much in, in prayer. Yeah. In prayer. Uh -huh. And do you look forward to to seeing him? Who wouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't? A wonderful but thought. Somebody was saying. I've been looking at my saviour for a thousand years before I look for anybody else. Aye. Yes. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure there's more people in glory now that you knew and is on oh, earth. Oh, yes. Indeed. In all of these years. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, I take a walk or some nights when I'm not sleeping very well, I take a walk around the congregation. Aye. And going into houses and things like that. Yeah. I remember 
signs that the Lord was working. Mm -hmm. On a winter's night, the Spirit moved me to go into the mission house. Mm -hmm. Why was I going into the mission house? Oh, go on into the mission house and the Lord will show you something. Mm -hmm. and, but I kind of half dressed and went in, I put on my wedding to the mission house and stood at the door of the mission house and a star appeared. A very bright star. Mm -hmm. The next thing it came down on one house, up again, came down in the next house, came down in the next house. Four or five houses, a star, and I believe it was the spirit because they never, they never professed to be Christian, but they all started coming to the prayer meeting. Is that right? Yes, yeah. after that. That was one thing. One thing, I kept it a secret, but they're all, they're all gone. They're all gone. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the God to put the stars in the skies, he can do what he wants he, with them. That's it. But yeah. why, I, I was questioning, why was it, I, I had to go into yeah. the mission house there, was a half a mile walk. Aye. Uh -huh. I'm sure you were praying for them. Well, yeah. I think I I still do, I still, I still do, I take a walk around the houses there. <coughs> mm -hmm. and what would you say to anyone here tonight, Mordo, who's seeking the Lord, but oh. maybe they're waiting for something? Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Yeah. I was parking nets and boys and going to sell my boat and everything and going to move to Canada. Right. That was my... Why were you going to Canada? Well, I, so that I wouldn't hear anything about God. Aye. Yes, I was in jumps. Aye. I couldn't do a thing. Right. So I, I said, I'll move to Canada. I a few, gathered a few pounds at the fishing. Uh -huh. That could take me to Canada. But Bella wouldn't go with me, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Smash it. <laughs> but uh, last night, I was blaming God, and that was it. Yeah. But uh, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. I nearly gave up that night. Mm -hmm. I told one of the, my aunties, a godly woman, I was, oh, get out, don't give up, whatever you do, don't yeah. give up. Seek and you shall find. Mm. Absolutely. Seek and you shall find. And it's so simple. Yeah. So simple. But so hard. <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. And since then, Mordo, you've been on the road for many, many years and you've had ups and downs and you've had hard things in your life and, and difficult things in your life, I'm sure. Well, yes, a difficult thing, problems. And, but yeah. the Lord uh, enlightened my mind in yeah. some things I wanted to do. And I, uh, I wanted to go and preach at one time. Did you? Yes. Not too late. I was, <laughs> I was very brackle. You were very brackle. Yes. Uh -huh. <coughs> yes so I, you I, had a desire to preach the word. Yes. Right. But you did preach the word because you told me that you have a whole bunch of papers with lots of sermons on them. Yes, but well, they're still in a drawer there. Well, you give them to me and I'll preach them. <laughs> <laughs> you must make a brochure of them. No, I probably will make a brochure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I used to put down headings. Well, I had to, I had to, I had to stand in for the minister. In the mission in Malawi? Yes, and in Graber, Kiribar, Cromor. There was no elders in Cromor. We had to prepare something. A wee lecture. Yes, but I always, I always, I always did that. Ah. I never let the unconverted away without a stern warning. Ah. Never. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but uh, I went as near going to the presbytery for admission to the, ah. I was, I was in cross communion. And oh, I was 
just bursting with enthusiasm, contradiction. John Morrison from Nas was preaching. Oh yeah. And I just felt like a balloon, he put a needle through it and it, <laughs> 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 it, it was flat. My mission was flat. He said something about preaching. Uh-huh. What ministers should travel and people should travel before they went for the ministry. Aye. And that burst my balloon boy. <laughs> <laughs> and praise God he did. Aye, so that went, you didn't, after that, you oh, didn't no. want to. Oh, no, Aye, that's no. Amazing. Oh, I was saying a few words at every meeting. But you've had a ministry, you've had a ministry in, <coughs> on the boards in the community. You weren't just on the board, Mordo, were you? You were, you were working in different, tell us a wee bit about where you were working. Well, it was oh, not much, the fishing, the fishing side of it was, there was a, a winter fishing, a spring fishing, and a summer fishing. Uh-huh. Very occupied. I was in Yarmouth at the fishing. And I remember that too. There was a big crowd in Yarmouth. Uh-huh. And so a lot of women went to the herring fishing then in the 50s. Uh-huh. There was about 30 of us fishermen. And uh, we tried to get a place for worship on a Sunday night. Uh-huh. And a Baptist minister met us, and he told you, you can, we're, we're having your mission, having your service at six o'clock yeah. for an hour and a half, and you can have our hall of the... Baptist hall, uh-huh. yeah. So we did that, and uh, the, the lady, lady workers were working with, they had flats along, and <coughs> they invited us for a cup of tea. We were all keen to have a singing mm-hmm. after worship, but all the ladies said no. And they were all Catholics, Catholic in the flat, uh-huh. so maybe we will be choked out in the morning. If oh. <laughs> anyway, the fellowship grew very warm, and somebody started singing. Uh-huh. So we had we sang a few psalms and. The lady said, we'll be, we'll be on the street when you come ashore next weekend. Uh, if, if the Catholics did not allow us. Anyway, uh, we went ashore on Saturday when we came ashore. Went up, we saw one of the ladies. Oh, come back again. Oh, hi. The, the Catholics enjoyed <coughs> your singing. Aye. The Gaelic singing. Ah, the Gaelic singing. Just like a, like a French lullaby they were singing. <laughs> Yes, ah, so, so we, it was. We had a place for worship Aye. in the flat there. Yes. Oh, yes. So you would have worship on the board as well, Mordo, wouldn't you? Yes, finally. Uh-huh. Finally, yes. And would you take that or would you take turns? or? Well, uh, I was doing it first of all. Uh-huh. <coughs> well, some nights you couldn't, when the board was being tossed, you couldn't. Uh-huh. You couldn't have meant much peace, but yeah, yeah. I remember the Scarfe boat. We were fishing at the south bank and of Scatterby there. I remember he- hearing the singing in the Scarfe boat. Right. Yes, it on a quiet night when they were having worship. Right. James Morrison, the minister, was in New East there. Right. He, he always liked to go out in the boat right. on, on, on holiday. Right. And they had worship there. And Lovely. Well, most of the story we bought uh, yeah. was some two or three boats from, from back. What was that name? I can't remember just now, but uh, <coughs> yeah, and the other from Harnish. And uh, the cake from back, it was called the cake. Yeah. Yes, they always had boats before boats were ashore, yeah. and the crew had to stay aboard there. Until worship was over. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Good times. Alec McRae from Loch Carran. Uh-huh. He always had worship. Aye. Uh, mm-hmm. Good. Yes. But oh, when, well. when, the, when the revival was in, in Stornoway and Point, <laughs> if we were on night ashore, we were in some houses in Stornoway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Oh. Would you like to see revival again? Yes, but how could I handle it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Oh, well, who knows? Well, the Lord is able to convert. <clears throat> mm -hmm. yeah. We long to see that, Mordo, don't we? Well, I would love to see somebody. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Come to know the Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, will you take any questions? <laughs> Does anyone want to ask Mordo something? Well, we've got him here. This is treasure. Well, <coughs> questions. Anybody want to ask him or do anything? Oh, well, see, you're, you're here, you're, you're able enough to answer all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. Mm. You're far more able. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, maybe... I, I was at... I was at... Uh, seven or nine assemblies in Edinburgh. Is that right? As a, as a commissioner. Aye. You're I saying met, I can answer the questions. <laughs> I met the Queen's... Uh, uh, Queen's ambassador. Is that right? Yes, I was in the... In the, in the <laughs> Five of us uh -huh. to meet the Queen's representative. <coughs> and I asked the moderator, who was he at that time? I can't remember. Why me, anyway? He was one of the longest serving commissioners in this assembly. That was even then. Even in right. the 1980s. Right. I, I was one of the longest serving. Yeah, you definitely are now, mm -hmm. no doubt. Yes, I met the Queen's at the garden party. So right. I got a letter from her a few months, a few years ago, when I was 60 years married. Aye. Yes. Yes. So, I'm very important. So you have important. Listen to the Queen. Aye. A nice, kind lady. Nice, kind yes. lady. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you remember when she was... Um, do you remember the coronation? Well, I just... Just about. Just about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Mordo. I don't want to tire you too much, but we're mm -hmm. going to have a singing. I, I was at communion in Gairoch, Gairoch uh -huh. in Sky, in Harris. I always went to most of the communions, uh -huh. everywhere, Aye. since I got a, a car anyway. Uh -huh. <coughs> You'd be singing at them all. Oh, yes. Yeah. Somebody told me recently it was that I sang at 21 communions, one after the other in Kinroch on the Sabbath. That's right. 21. Aye. When somebody was with me, but yeah, yeah. <coughs> Eric Moto was keeping a tally on present. I was 21 years. I yeah. Mm -hmm. And it will be the same psalms, of course, yes. in the communion at the table. Yes. And, mm -hmm. yeah. yes. uh -huh. What a privilege to serve yeah. the king I that way. I remember one minister there, <coughs> and uh, I, he, he said to, two verses, but I took it to be three. <laughs> and when he came, when he came from a Came down from the pulpit. Well, he said, I'm glad you, you sang the third, that third verse. Why? I was trying to find a text in the Bible Aye, <laughs> while you were singing. Right. <laughs> so it must have been the Lord that told you to <laughs> sing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's amazing. Yes, yes. Oh, a lot of things like that. Uh, the Lord revealing to himself mm. an earnest to call. Mm. Uh, one day in, in Lickenloch there, and there an Angus Ferguson was preaching. Mm -hmm. And myself and a normal crowd from Lewis West were singing. And he came from the pulpit and thanked us. And he said, you sang like such and such a person. 
uh, from Shopas. And I said before I started singing, Oh God, I wish I could present as good as this fellow from, from Shopas. And the song was right and sung. Angus Phyllis and said, The presence of that man came to the pulpit. Aye. Yes. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I always liked his presenting. And that's what I, I prayed before I st- stood up. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could present as good as that man. And he did it better. Yeah, better. <laughs> he, re- he revealed himself yeah. to, to, to the minister. Look at that. Oh, well. And small my tokens like that, they help me in the way. Keep you, keep you going, keep absolutely. Going. And the Lord, he's always there, no matter how many years you're on the road. That's oh, a wonderful thing. Yeah, that's he's it. as fresh today as he was then. Oh, just. Yeah. Oh, yes. That's the beauty of grace. Mm-hmm. I it thought, doesn't get stale. I thought if I got four or five years, I would know everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. But I was never so stupid as I am now. No. <laughs> when I read the Bible, when I hear you preaching, I think, why didn't I think of these things no, long ago? Well, uh, we'll be learning for eternity, uh, eh? You, yeah. talk, you talked about today the 12 year old Lord yes. in, the, in, the, in the temple. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's a thought. Oh, a thought. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I think we'll sing Psalm 23 now. Well, uh, <coughs> Do we have a, a presenter? We're going to sing it in English. Oh, my well, well. God. Any, any presenters among the heroes? Or any? Can we hear? Can we hear? Can we? Can we? Are you able and willing? <laughs> are you able? It's a bit of <laughs> the Lord's my shepherd, I am not one. He makes me down to lie in pasture stream. He leads me. Oh! 
of prayer. Gaelic. The Lord can hear it in Gaelic. Gallifmiamachtietanko, Atura <laughs> The <laughs> Oh, well, thank you all for coming. It seems a shame to have these singers and not to have another singing one for the road. <laughs> eh? I was in one congregation a few years back. And I got a my car broke down two or three punctures or something, an old club of my car I had to ah. And uh, when I, I was late for the service, uh -huh. but I went in and uh, I was constrained to go to the, con to the congregation. And after the Sunday service, uh, I was presenting. Of course, I number asked me for lunch. I, I didn't know where to go, but this fisherman came up to me and said, "Come for your lunch." Oh, well, that's all right. I knew the skipper very well. And while she was boiling potatoes, or preparing dinner, I asked him, "Who was uh, who was went forward to say?" Oh, my wife, he said, and forward. And I think you were the means of encouraging her last night. Aye. Oh, how is that? Well, I was praying in the prayer meeting, and I felt much liberty. Aye. And as soon as I stopped praying, I was ready to go home. That's what I felt. I'm not staying here any longer. But I couldn't get out, there was no bridge then. And when she, when she set the table, she told me, well, it was seven years, she said, <coughs> since I was waiting for a promise from the Lord to go forward. Aye. And you, get, you came out with it tonight in your prayer. Amazing. 
So it made my communion. Oh, of course. It, it humbled me at the same time Aye. as that the Lord would use me. But he, he works through his people more than oh, doesn't well, he? Yes, but that, yeah. so she, she waited seven years for a token. Yeah. And I had to leave Mary, we can go to travel, go to Scotland, and get two punctures of <laughs> <laughs> All part of the plan. <laughs> That's Wonderful. enough for me to try to do. Oh, well, thank you so much, Mordo. Uh, it's it's a lot to be said in 70 years. A lot to uh, be said. This no. is only part one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Mm. Oh, dear. Uh, other, other. Any requests for one more singing before we close? Anyone else? Any requests? Uh, I'm 103 or something. 103. Oh, man, beyond the euthanasia. Rising from the Lord's table. Aye. I heard Professor Ferguson. Do you remember? No. No, I don't remember. No, no. Professor Ferguson. Well, he was, he was. Uh, I quote him in sermons, but I have never met him. Uh, he was, he was sp speaking at some question in, at the assembly. Uh-huh. And when, the, when the, somebody was trying to change the Psalms, uh -huh. Psalm 123, that Donald Chuck, he was one of the, he started putting words in that shouldn't be there. <laughs> right. And uh, Professor Ferguson stood up and he said, he was crying at the, at the, at the assembly, he was crying. Well, brethren, it's easy enough uh, to be saying that you were never at a, Louis Communion, rising from the Lord's table, singing Psalm 103. Oh. <laughs> Seemingly, well, you can't understand what it meant. No. Rising from the Lord, oh, man, and piano, you sing, near the hall for more, to the chun chun tree. It Aye. was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Shall we sing that, Anna? We go to the happy. English, will we sing it in English or Gaelic? Oh, well, it's garlic, I know. I knew the answer to that. <laughs> and you'll have to change the slide. <laughs> oh, I, I can oh, sing yeah. English if, I, if I'm straight. No, we'll sing it in garlic. We'll sing it in garlic. Oh, man, I'm piano. We'll just wait a minute till it... Oh. Till it uh, you know where they are, Anne? Yeah. I'll sing a couple of... A couple of verses. Oh, if, if I've got the breath to oh, sing too. Well, two is enough. <laughs> the, well, the first two verses. The first two. Oh, uh, if I'm able. I 
passiert. Ja, meine Damen und Herren, ich bin hier gekommen, aber... to pray earnestly before they stood up Aye. because it helps a lot yeah. and to enlighten the congregation's mind what the presenter is putting out. I work on that during when, when I use a presenter, uh -huh. praying that the word I was presenting would lodge somewhere Aye. and uh, praying that uh, everybody would hear it. As well as enjoying the singing, it's to understand it. Yes. And go out with power. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, well. Uh -huh. <coughs> Thank you, folks. <laughs> <laughs>